pretty basic. All I'm going to do is take this magnetic strip, which is just a bunch, if you don't, it's just a bunch of these rectangle magnets that you can find and they're just laid in there. There's, you know, 12 of them or something like that, 10 of them in there and they're just laid across there and they give you two little mounting holes at each end and that's about it. So this is a pretty basic idea. All I'm going to do is take some half inch rod that will fit through my wheels. It could be any sort of rod that will fit through your, your center of your wheels. And we'll take the little caps off the wheels. I left those on. And then this is just going to be hanging from the rod with two eye bolts through each, each side right here. And the idea behind that is I want this to be able to always find its way down to the ground. No matter which way, you know, normally you'd have a handle sticking off here. No matter which way you have the handle, whether you're pushing it under a vehicle and the handle's almost flat, I want them to fall down to the ground. Or if you're sweeping right directly under you and the handle's up, I want it to sweep against the ground. Pretty basic, really nothing. This is all the stuff I have sitting around. The holes in here are a little small, so let's drill the holes just a tad bigger, just to fit these uh, eye bolts. Now I can just take these eye bolts, stick them in here. I hope these are long enough. But this also allows me to uh, adjust the height of these at any point. I have, I can adjust that anywhere, but it doesn't matter where the handle is. This is always going to find its way down to the ground and pick up whatever you roll it and it can bump into stuff. That's what I want. Um, it'd be nice if you could find eye bolts that are a little closer to the size, but it's not a big deal and the slop doesn't bother me, but I could weld a, uh, a washer in there to make it so there wasn't slop, but I really don't care. This is just quick and dirty. So now what I need to do is, I was thinking that I had to actually weld a, um, you know, maybe I will weld a washer right here. I was thinking that I had to, yeah, I probably do. I gotta weld a washer or put some sort of spacer right on the inside so the wheel doesn't go in too far. And then on the outside, I just need to drill a little teeny hole so I can put the little retaining clip through it. Our pin, wheel, washer, sleeve, next washer, well, not next washer yet. Our magnet, next washer, wheel, and then the pin on the other side. And that floats around just like I want. It always finds down. Um, it'll pick up whatever. It always finds the uh, gravity helps you out. But now the handle. So um, I don't know about this sleeve, but we'll make it work. So what I've done is I want to be able to use a typical just broom handle that you just screw in with a typical thread. So I want to be able to adapt that. I mean, there's a million different ways. I mean, I could just duct tape a handle on here or screw a two by four to there and this and there's a million different ways you could do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this piece of pipe right here and I've already started drilling a hole so this can slide over here and I'm going to cut it off shorter. Um, I could leave it this full length, but I'm going to cut it off shorter and make, make threads. So let's finish with the Christmas tree bit getting this wallered out. Now we need to make threads in there. I'll show you how we're going to do that. So all these broom handles have the exact same thread. I'm going to use this metal one. I guess I could use this plastic one. It fits inside of there, but there's nothing to grab on. I guess we can use this plastic one. We'll use the metal one because I'm going to weld it. And then I'm going to take a piece of, it's almost like clothes hanger. It's not quite, it's probably 3 30 seconds, just wire. It's very malleable, bends really easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, 
and I've never seen anybody do this, so this is the first for even me. I just thought about this. So let's roll this into the threads all the way around. So I've just rolled this into the threads all the way around. I did this uh, metal one, but I also did this plastic one because it had a little bit longer threads. And this is just the same, this is the exact thing that comes out of a broom. And so now I've mimicked the threads. I essentially have threads. So now I'm gonna cut off these extra little wings and I'm essentially just going to insert the threads inside this tube and whether or not they're actually going to fit I don't know it might be I don't know if the diameter I was hoping the diameter would be about right we could set, set that in there put a little tack weld here and there and this will be a uh, permanent set of threads inside this metal tube but I guess we'll find out what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to just drill just a couple little random holes just sporadically so because I can put this in and I can put a tack weld right on the top of this and then I'll be able to put one or two just randomly around just to hold this piece of thread in place and then we can try to jam it in there so let me uh, just drill a couple of random random holes in the sidewalls I could do a couple things here I wouldn't have to weld oh there we go I got a piece of skin though dang that hurt there we go. Well, I think that's actually pretty good. I could actually JB weld. I could just slather some JB weld on the outside of here and just actually stick this in here and then I'm going to set up, just pull it out. But I think I'm just going to throw a tack or two here and there. Let's pull this out so that thread is right at the top. I'm going to put one tack on it. I'm just going to put one little tack on it, unscrew this, and then I'm going to put the metal one in because this one's going to melt if I just keep tack welding with this on it. And then I've essentially put threads inside this pipe. And we should be able to... It's nice and warm. Of course it is. Without destroying it. Pull this out. Yeah, not bad. And we have threads up in there. So now let's take the metal one. And we'll screw the, I could probably just weld it up right now. We'll throw the metal one in there. And throw a couple more tack welds on it. There you go, all cleaned up, threads inside of pipe. And this just happens to be three quarter inch electrical conduit and wire that is roughly a little, barely thicker than a hanger, but a hanger would probably work. Hanger wire might even be better because hanger wire is just a little bit thinner and this one's just barely tight enough. So now let's just mount this down here. Okay, now one of the things you're going to run into is going to be this fine, fine dust, which does come off, or really sharp metal, metal particles is actually cleaning this thing off. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to take off as much as I can right now, is actually cut out the packaging and I have this nice clear plastic cover that I'm actually going to lay over here. And we're going to melt it so it bends back around, or I guess we could just put a piece of tape. Um, so we're just going to form it so it forms a protective layer. So then whenever it picks up metal stuff, like you can see right there, all you have to do is pick up the plastic cover and kick it off. And everything will dump in the garbage. So. I can play around with this a little bit more. We don't need a perfect, but the idea is I want to be able to use this without the handle 
for my workbench and other areas I get a lot of metal shavings without sweeping them and then let's see so we got all this you know that I could just take over to the garbage and just peel it off real fast The main purpose behind this for me is to pick up those sharp little uh, metal filings and stuff like that that get stuck in the dog's feet or actually get stuck in my shoe and get tracked in on the carpet. But whenever you're working on a car or something, inevitably you drop a bolt, nut, wrench, something else, you know, way under the car. And you got to kind of lay down and grab it. This, you can just grab this and I can just kind of blindly just jam this under the car a bunch of times, pull it back out. Flip it over to, to get my wrench. There's my wrench. There's that bolt that I dropped. And it picks everything up along with the metal filings. And other junk apparently. And the magnetic broom has been done a million times. This is my take on it. I'll put a parts description down below. And if you enjoyed that, make sure to check out the video. On, it's an older video, but it's on the air powered shop broom. That I don't think, it, this is my unique idea. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do this. Powered off shop air actually works really good doesn't create a dust storm, but it gets that air powered You know, it just cleans out all the nooks and crannies in your shop. That's a quick easy um, Quick easy easy project. I'll put a link to that video um, Right here and don't forget to uh, Go check me out on Instagram now if you want to get updates on little projects that I don't post videos on just little random stuff Thanks guys. See you soon. Bye